This is not your millennial. This is not your Gen Z. This is not your Gen Y. It's Gen 2. What's up, fellow Drops fans, fellow fans, fans of coffee everywhere? My name is Haley, and I am back with you this week. So sorry about last week. Totally fell ill. I don't recommend that anyone get sick. Just don't get sick. Don't do it. It's no fun. But I appreciate your patience, and I am so stoked to be back here with you talking about this week's coffee, which is JBC's Pantan Musara. It's a Sumatra coffee. It's a washed, like fully washed Sumatra coffee, which is pretty rare for the region. I mean, typically coffees out there historically have been processed in a wet hold way, right? But this one is fully washed and it's, it's, it's pretty darn spectacular. JBC from Madison, Wisconsin. We're super stoked to feature them again. They've been longtime partners with us. I'm gonna tell you that the recipe that I'm using is 22 grams in to 350 grams out, 205 degrees, oh gen two, gen two at four. Uh, oh gen one is at three, this one's set to four, my bad, that's my mistake over there, but I would grind to about a setting down on oh gen one from oh gen two, so about a three. And if you're using oh with SSP, I would grind at about a five, so. That's the breakdown on that. Also stoked to be grinding with O Gen 2, taller hopper for easier bean intake. Uh, an ionizer, so anti-static technology goes into, takes the, takes the beans and easily shoots them into the larger diameter catch cup. We took feedback from y'all and we made it into a reality. So go check out O Gen 2 on our website. Let's get into what we all came here for, the coffee, right? This coffee scored, I don't know if you can see it on this circle up front here, but uh, it scored 94 points. This point system is a globally universal scale, right? And an officially administered amount of points to the coffee. For reference, and I'm gonna pour my last pour up to 350 grams here, remember to pour about 10 seconds. For reference on that point scale, um, typically coffees, you know, specialty coffees are 80 plus points 86 to 87 is like really solid like spectacular coffee 88 to 89 points is like really really hard to find like you're hard pressed to find a coffee that's at that high scoring 90 plus points is almost unheard of rare so the fact that this sumatra is 94 points is bananas i mean it beats out a lot of Africa coffees. It beats out a lot of a lot of coffees worldwide at that 94 points, which is bananas, <laughs> um, bananas. But this coffee is tasting very syrupy with a round acidity, like pink grapefruit, but like not super pointy. Like somehow, just this lovely balance of acidity. Um, it's got this like undertones of semi-sweet chocolate with like cherry, a little bit of apricot in there. Lots of attributes still so clean, just totally amazing as drip coffee. As espresso, I might recommend trying it at a one to 1.5 coffee to water or a one to two coffee to water ratio. I was thinking 20 grams in of coffee to 30 grams out of espresso would be really interesting. And you could play, play with the time of extraction, but I mean around maybe 25 seconds and just see, see where that leads you. I think that would be really, really interesting. You probably would extract a lot more of that, that grapefruit, that cherry, that like sweetness. But if you do like a more concentrated extraction, maybe even like a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio, it would pull out that syrupiness probably and that viscosity. As always, it's easy to order from Fellow Drops. All you have to do is text us back with the number of bags you would want, one, two, five, ten, however many. Uh, we're not here to judge, we're just here to supply you this week with this JBC and every week with delicious coffee. Uh, if you don't text us back, we will not send you coffee and we will not charge you. It's as simple as that. Thank you so much for joining me here today. As always, my name is Haley. It will continue to 
be Haley as it has been Haley, I think. I am your resident Q grader and your brew guide. I will see you next week for another brew guide video. Thank you so much, y'all.